I was driving the other day and so I stopped in the red light and I saw a woman next to me in the car. She was alone. She mm -hmm. was wearing two masks. She had <laughs> one mask and then one mm -hmm. another mask, like both like medical masks on top of it. She had rubber gloves and she was alone in the car. Uh, I mean, one thing that I thought of is that people are starting to uh, talk about how we won't shake hands uh, yeah. anymore. Uh, so that's one thing. I find it a little bit hard to believe that we're actually going to stop doing that but, uh, in, in the Western world, but, uh, but we'll see. But it's interesting that like in Sweden, it's not even kind of like recommended. It's more like, yeah, if you want to do it, do it. And, and this is the weird thing because now it, it, people get so defensive with their own country's you know, policies and, and Swedes speaking to people from other countries try to defend our position. Uh, and, and, and that's the weirdest part because we're talking about life and death. You know, I talk to people in Russia and Singapore and everyone has the same story. We all sit at home and we all... Uh, waiting for something to change? Uh, no, uh, the short answer is no. Uh, it's been closed down since mid-March. Here, everything is on lockdown, but in Sweden, people go to cafes and, you know, like bars are full. And so, it, so you get this picture that things are really different. If you want to throw a party yeah. with a hundred people, you can. Yeah. Uh, you can. Okay. It's, I mean, you shouldn't, but yeah. you're, <laughs> it's, I think it's, it's something with the laws as well that, you know, the, the government can't really, they don't have the authority to, um, to restrict those kind of private get togethers. Do you feel that Swedish people, they trust government more than they do, let's say in the US? Where by default, people don't trust government. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, by default in Sweden, uh, people trust the government. So it's very different from the US. Mm -hmm. uh, it's the guy named Anders Tegnell. Tegnell, yeah. yeah. So, and I, I read a little bit about him. Uh, so what do you know about this guy? So I think he's a very interesting figure and people talk about him. And I mean, in the beginning of February, in, <laughs> I think most people hadn't even heard his name before. I was on a Zoom call yesterday. Uh, yeah. A friend of mine had a birthday. And there were six people, uh, and then like a couple of us in the U.S., and then four people in Russia. And from those four people, two already had the virus. A lot of people will scream that they're you know complete idiots and they're yeah. you know doing things wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but the, you know they still think that it's still it's the government's job to tell yeah. us what's right or wrong.